Coming back with that brutal sword, giving him a long range. It looks like it's all over for Sir James now, to be honest with you. He's going to keep that battering going, keep him at distance. Oh! But he got a bit too close in there, and he's paying for it. Hang on a minute. Wow, he's got a dagger out, a one mil dagger. Surely this isn't chivalry. No. Oh, Sir Philip's men, then with the mighty bulls coming in to settle the matter. Well, that got a little bit heated. Sir James grinning to himself after inflicting quite that much damage on poor Sir Guy de Mowbray over there, who is only just beginning to get back up from the field. And it seems like the southerners over there are more than happy to see that level of punishment. Well, Knight Marshal, who won that bout? <laughs> well, it's very, very clear, actually. It's very clear. Good. I'm glad you're clear. Our crowd feels a mixture of emotions at that. All right, let's have your cheers if you're supporting the North or the East. Oh, look at those floats. Some powerful swings. They're going a bit wide at the moment, not striking through. Oh, heard that bloke. Seeing if he can reach right the way over that barrier there. And he can grip right the way down to the bottom, said David. Oh, big swings. Oh, 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 oh. Both swings. One point to Sir Guy. A flurry of blows that connected with his opponent's helmet there. And I wonder whether or not Sir Joseph is seeing stars after that. But it looks like he's all right. He's tapping his helmet there. Just a scratch. He's very confident. <laughs> right. He's back in this thing, our knight from the north. He's not backing down. And Trying to land a long blow there, Sir Joseph. Big sweep coming in. Yes, picking his moment. And it looks like we lost a Langette or something there. We lost something. The Langettes are the, uh, the, the, the pieces of metal that go all the way down the, uh, the axe half just to uh, affix the, uh, the head. And if we have lost one of them, it's rather dangerous to continue. So we have a swap of weapon. Otherwise, we might have the head scythe off towards the audience or Sir Philip, which would be even worse. <laughs> So making sure we have good, uh, good safety to uh, look after our night. Both men feeling each other out. Getting in close. So James nearly lost it now. As he dropped his blade. We're going to have to go to a people's vote. He knocked the crest down, but was it cleanly struck? And Knight Marshall getting very passionate there. Very well, we will give you this choice, ladies and gentlemen. Cheer now if you think Sir James should take the point. Should it go to our other And cheer now if you think because of in unchivalrous conduct. Yeah. The last cheering going on, good work. Oh look, the green are on two sides. It's like a charge on the field of battle. It's all become an absolute melee. Some of them are going absolutely pell-mell with each other now. Yeah. 
It's broken into pairs. Oh, so James is down. First casualty of this final bout. And he's scared. The Reds are out of it. But look at that exchange of blows with that Northern Squire. All men battling away. I can feel the weight of those blows. Look at that guy in this Northern Squire. Sir Michael and Sir Joseph circling each other warily now. Oh, so guy goes down. And we've now got two Northern men left up against two Northern West. This is going to decide it. Everyone's exhausted. Who's got the most left on them?